A cold case tonight. DC police are still looking for the person responsible for killing a man from North Carolina at a Southwest complex apartment complex a little more than a year ago. Tonight, the victim's mother is in DC and tells our John Doran police should have enough evidence to make an arrest. Saturday morning, a mother from North Carolina traveled up to DC and to Metro Police's first district headquarters to protest the investigation into her son, Christian Stewart's killing just over a year ago. So we had Christian's funeral on a Thursday, actually one year ago today. Family says the 21 year old was in DC for his grandmother's funeral. On March 23rd, he was shot outside the gardens apartments on the southwest side. He went to break up a fight and when he attempted to break up a fight, he was jumped by it looked like minors. After they jumped Christian and he stood up, he was shot. The gunshots and moments leading up to them were all recorded. We're unable to show you that video that includes a group of minors. No arrest has been made. Nobody has said anything to me besides Ms. Stewart. We're still investigating. Christian's mother, T. Quinitha, thinks investigators haven't done enough. You have this full video with faces on it and you haven't did anything. And his response to me was, well, we don't have the shooter on camera. She says she moved Christian and her family to North Carolina from DC in 2013 because of violence. To send him back here for that and for him to never return back home to me. And I know that I took him out of this element to prevent something from something like this from happening. It's very troublesome. T. Quinitha says she's planning more visits to DC and more protests. Not give up. I will continue to fight and my voice will be heard because I'm going to continue to yell about my son because his life matters. Metro police tell us the case remains under investigation and encourages anyone with information to reach out to them. In Southwest DC, John Duran, WUSA 9.